Welcome to the new chapter, the epic urban homestead. Kevin here from Epic Gardening, where it's my goal to help you grow a greener thumb and as I go into this new journey, perhaps grow much more for yourself, self-sustainability, self-reliance, a lot of different things that give us more freedom in our lives without sacrificing a whole lot of modern comforts. That's really the goal of Epic Urban Homestead. Speaking of, that's what we're looking at right here. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you on a rough and dirty tour of the new space that I'm growing in and living in here in San Diego, California. So I'm gonna start at this corner of the lot, which is the northwest corner of the lot. And the first thing when I was looking at places was, does it have existing trees? I'll be honest with you, I barely looked at the outside of the, or the inside of the home. And I've got some citrus on the property already in this corner, which is really great. So here's the front yard. The whole lot is somewhere around a third of an acre, about 13,000 square feet. But the house itself is only about a thousand of those square feet. So do the math, there's quite a bit of empty space here. So in the front yard, it's already been mulched with some natural wood chips, which I like, but I'm gonna need to lay down quite a bit more and do some serious soil rehab here. You can see we already have a lot of weeds already making their way back up. So we're gonna have to manage that. And this section right here, where the house porch ends, till about there or so is where I'm gonna put down the old epic garden. So I already have a built-in gate here, which is fantastic. And as we move up to the front door, which I will take you inside, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking right here till about there, the original epic garden will be right here because I never wanna forget about small space gardening techniques. That's what I know the best. And that's what I think a lot of you really engage with. So I'm gonna keep putting that there. But over here, that's a loquat tree, which I find to be very poignant. And this section is probably gonna become a landscaped miniature orchard slash pollinator section. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen right there. Now, let's go ahead and do a little tour of the inside. All right. It's gonna be a little echoey because I haven't moved in, but here we go. So we have a little living room here. This is probably the kitchen-esque area right here. And then as we get into here, forgive the mess, but we have our little kitchen. And what I really like about the kitchen is the backsplash actually goes up because I'm pretty sloppy <laughs> as far as cooking goes. So if I'm spilling or whatever, it'll go up against there and that's pretty nice. Now here's something that's really cool. This little nook area has two windows right up against the corner of the home that I can look into the backyard. So before we get to the backyard, I'll take you on a little tour of the rest of the home. So we've got just two bedrooms in here. This one faces the street, so this might not be the best one for me to use, but we'll see. So here's this one. Closets are kind of interesting. They kind of go in like this, which is pretty typical of an old school San Diego style home. And then here's the funny part. When you get into the bathroom, it's a pretty small bathroom because this is a pretty small house, but check this toilet out. The toilet's a little, a little cramped, so I'm gonna be having to struggle here, but <laughs> that's part of the game in San Diego. So then we've got another bedroom back here, but really, I have to be honest with you guys, when I first put an offer in on this place, I barely looked at the inside. I didn't really care that much because I care more about the outside. So as we move through our little laundry room, here is our backyard area. So there's a couple sunlights here, Maybe this could be a nice entertainment space, I'm not really sure, but right about here is a cool sink that, it's got all the hookups, but it's a pretty crappy sink and it doesn't really work that well. It's like kind of flimsy and stuff. So I'm probably gonna put one of those steel wash sinks and maybe take it out to there. So this is gonna be my produce washing area. But let's go into the actual backyard. So here's the back part of the yard and you can see it's a lot less manicured and landscaped because it seems like they just didn't really care about it. So I've got a bunch of leaves here that are falling down from the tree above right there that I'm gonna start harvesting as leaf mold. But I also have a pretty gnarly weed here in this foxtail barley. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to control this over basically the entire property here, which is a significant amount of space. But I know you guys are thinking what's going on in here. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek. So this is what looks to be a little makeshift shed. 
I'm not sure what they really used it for, but it's kind of small. It has these interesting windows that flip down like this. And they kind of stop right there to provide a little bit of extra ventilation. And it is wired up. So you can see there's electrical switches and stuff right here, but they're not connected to the breaker or the panel. So I'm not really sure why they are like that. But this is also kind of in a weird part of the home. So if we kind of walk backwards, take a look. It's just right in the middle of this back part of the backyard. So I'm thinking it doesn't make a lot of sense there. And I'm thinking I may want to remove it for scraps and use it for something else. But as we go over the back of this section, I do have a couple more edibles that I've identified already on the property. I'm pretty sure this is a walnut tree right here. Over there, we've got an apricot, which I can show you really quickly. It's throwing out some fruit. So I do have some other edibles on property. There you can see the apricot right there. So these guys are hanging out and they look like they might get ripe pretty soon here. Um, but yeah, so there's the rest of the property over there. Everything on this property is a different fence. So there's a chain link with the slats on there. There's an actual cinder block style wall. There's a bent over chain link with bamboo. Then there's a black chain link right here. Then there's the one in the front yard, that wooden slat one. And then there's a white picket fence. So there's like five or seven different fences here because there's also one through there, which is where I'm gonna take you guys next. And man, there's a lot of work to do here, but is there a lot of potential? Oh my gosh, yes there is. So here's the driveway. And then in here is probably where a lot of these homesteading projects are gonna be built. So I just picked up some new tools from DeWalt. Never really had a tool set before. And I'm probably gonna have a little workbench right here where I do a lot of building. So a lot of building for the compost bins that I'm gonna be making, a lot of building for the leaf mold, uh, the mulching, all that sort of process is, I have to build it all because there's no, there's nothing here. It's a completely empty space. So I know this was kind of a funky style of video, not the one that I'm used to doing most of the time, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to take you on a really quick and dirty tour of this property and it really is a totally blank slate. Like I've always thought about doing something like this, but I just didn't think I would ever have the ability, frankly. I didn't think I would be able to actually do it to afford the ability to do it and just, you know, saving, 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 and all the support and help that you guys have all offered by just paying attention to the work that I'm doing, whether it be on YouTube or buying a copy of the book or whatever has allowed me to actually do this. And so I'm super grateful and it feels that the only correct thing to do is to pay that forward in documenting the transformation of this space into a truly epic urban homestead. So whew, it's hot out here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really hope that uh, you you love what's to come. And if you have suggestions on things that you'd like to see, then please let me know because man, there's enough room for just about every idea I have and I'm excited to share it with you. Until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.